good, Al. I can already tell you that for sure. If you were to say to me, Kristen, where did you spend your St. Patrick's Day last year? I would tell you I was at Sir Edmund Haley's, and that is the crew that is here with us in our outdoor studio today. Hey, guys, how are you? Good. Uh, doing okay, great. good, doing good. How We're are you? so glad to have you here. Andy Hollis is the owner, and Gerson Lopez is the chef, and we are making a little something for St. Patty's Day. But first, I want for the folks that maybe are new to Charlotte, Andy, tell me a little bit about how you guys do St. Patrick's Day at Sir Edmund Haley's, because you've been doing it for a long time. It is our biggest day of the year by yeah. far. Um, we have a grand celebration. We have uh, Dave McKenzie, world famous uh, bagpiper. We have the Walsh Kelly uh, School of Dance, uh, Irish dancers come. It's just a great, great time. Lots of Guinness as well. Yeah, lots yeah. of Guinness. Do I remember correctly that St. Patrick himself made an appearance last year when I was there? He did. That? Yes, he, he did. did. And everybody lost their minds when yes. he walked in the room. So that was <laughs> amazing. Of course, you do the traditional corned beef and cabbage, but you all do a twist on corned mm -hmm. beef and cabbage as well. And Gerson, that's what you're going to cook up for us today. Tell me the secret to making good cabbage, because people are a little afraid of cabbage sometimes. Yeah, cabbage, you don't make it with water. We use our corned beef juice to yeah. cook it. Put it, in. put it raw, and then we boil it. So you cook it, so you make the corned beef first. Yep. Then you take the juice. The juice. Yes, yeah. And you cook the cabbage in the corned beef the juice. juice. Yeah. What is the benefit there? The flavor. Flavor. Yeah. It gets it good, good flavor. It gets a good flavor. You're going to make some um, corned beef and cabbage egg rolls, which I think is a super fun twist. Is this something that you've always had on the menu there, or is this kind of new? Uh, we brought it out of probably about 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, we've been around for 28 years. Which so, is yeah. wild. Yeah. It's wild. Um, so, when you put, so how long do you have to cook the cabbage in the corned beef juice? Between three to four hours. So it's long. Yeah, it's long. Got to yes. be patient. Yep. And we don't have three to four hours. <laughs> so you kindly yep. brought some already yeah, we, done. Yep. The magic of TV. The Fine. magic of TV. TV. All right, well, let's make these up. How do we do them? Uh, first, we, we start with chopping the cabbage. Mm -hmm. do you, you want it nice and kind of thin and yeah. stringy, yeah. right? Yeah, it's very, very small pieces. And that this big part right here, is that bitter? Do you not want that? You just want the leaves? Yeah, you just want the leaves. Okay. So remember, that's just the cabbage in the cabbage juice cooked. And then we use some corned beef. Um, while he's slicing that, Andy, how much corned beef do you think you go through in the week leading uh, up to We have over a thousand day? pounds. A thousand pounds. Yeah. Do people order it any other time of the year? <laughs> uh, no, we do have a, we make a corned beef for our Reuben uh -huh. year round, but uh, St. Patrick's Day is, we'll have it, this year we'll have it Saturday and Sunday. Oh, wow. Um, when is most of the celebration for you? Is it on Sunday or on, on Saturday? On Sunday, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if people yeah. want to go. Um, I do remember it getting very busy there. Yes. Um, so bring your patience as well, right. right? If you want a table, bring your patience. We ended up we, sitting at the bar. Yeah, we do. Uh, we um, seat people family style and, yeah. and move them in pretty good. So yeah. it's... Uh, all right, so you cut up the corned beef into small pieces. You cut yep. up the cabbage into yep. small pieces, mm -hmm. Chef. And now, what is the secret? These are just regular egg roll wrappers, yeah, right? Yeah, those are egg roll wrappers, not what? spring roll wrappers, mm -hmm. egg rolls. What's That's the a difference? Big difference? What is the difference? Oh, uh, spring rolls are very thin, and they break up. Okay. Yeah. So they may look similar in the package. Yeah, they Make sure they're egg roll wrappers. Yeah. And so you're just rolling it up almost like a burrito or yep. anything else, right? Yeah. What did you put on the edges to make it stick? Just water. Just water. Just water. Okay. And then you roll it rice. You want to roll it tight, I would imagine. Yep, tight. And then we use some cornstarch. Cornstarch? Yep. Why? It, it gives that little uh, crunchies. Ah. So you're covering all sides with the yep. cornstarch. And then we put it in the fryer. Yeah. And how long does it fry for? Because everything's About cooked inside. Three, three minutes or four minutes. And then you serve it with this? Yeah, that's what is our. That? Uh, Spice of mustard. Oh, yeah, so so good. Um, I'm pull it out and cut yeah. it. you guys have all. Oh, you have one already done in there. Oh yeah. Of course, because you know the magic <laughs> of TV. Been in the business 28 years, you know how it goes. Um, you guys have a lot of things. You have a pet-friendly outdoor. You, mm -hmm. I mean, you're remind people exactly where you're located because if they don't know, That's you right, gotta yeah. find. It's a little sneaky. We are still inconveniently located <laughs> on the back side of Park Road Shopping Center, uh, and the back court. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's a little little challenging to find, but well worth it. It's well worth it, and it all it makes you feel like you've found a cool little secret when you find mm -hmm. it, you know? It is. So it is, as you say, inconveniently located, <laughs> but I, it's kind of cool when you get there. Um, what's your favorite part about celebrating St. Patrick's Day at Sir Edmund Haley's? I mean, just everybody is very happy. It's very joyous. Um, it's just a, it's a great, it's a grueling day for 
for the workers, but uh, we have we have fun. Well, yeah. these look beautiful. I'm going to take them inside and share with Mary. There Can you I go. do that? Absolutely. Absolutely. But take a look at those. Oh my goodness, Brian, they're nice and steaming hot. That's a good way to eat corned beef and cabbage. Let's put all the information up on the screen so people can find out more about going to Sir Ed's for St. Patrick's Day or any other.